Hey guys, welcome back. So today I've been out here working in the garden and I've been working out here all day. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty sore already by now. I think I've been out here probably close to eight hours. And then this, this afternoon I've decided to just go ahead and build a couple raised beds. So we got two new raised beds along the south side here. That's all the material I had on hand. I just using some leftover material. And uh, to the point now where we're ready to fill them up with some potting soil. So I've been working out here in the garden since first thing this morning. So I ended up, I've been cleaning out all these raised beds, doing a ton of weeding. And I cleaned out all the dead strawberries in here. And then there was a bunch of strawberries that had overflowed and grown into this raised bed. So I, I transplanted all of those back over there and, and trying to fill everything back in. So I think we've got, so you can see all the little strawberries that I've planted back on this side. And uh, this should all fill back in with strawberries. Should have plenty this year to eat. I ended up um, pulled all of the garlic and transplanted it over to this raised bed. And then me and Rebecca ended up weeding all of these as well. So we pretty much got most of the raised beds prepped for planting. So here you can see how much weeding me and Rebecca actually did. This is all just weeds that we pulled out of the raised beds. I almost got a full bucket of weeds here. So we've been working at it for quite a while. So here's the two raised beds that we just got done building. And I just had enough material laying around to just build two. And it's gonna end up taking, I think it'll be three more to finally fill this whole side in. But you can see our, our garden is built on a slope and you can see them the stair step down the hill right so we're trying to build these level and that's just what ends up happening when you're dealing on a slope so you end up with boards sticking out of the ground here but then you have to dig them in going that way so it ends up being a, a, a lot of work really trying to get this in level and then you barely have anything sticking out right there but uh, these raised beds they're basically three feet wide by eight feet long that's pretty much the rough dimension of every raised bed that goes around our garden. And um, I think we're about six inches short of being able to fill this up to the top. So we're gonna go ahead, uh, dump all those weeds in the compost bin and uh, go get some topsoil, start filling these things up. Well, it looks like I ended up making a mess, didn't I? I didn't quite get everything in the raised beds. I got about a quarter of the dirt sitting out here in front. So I'm gonna have to get this all picked up and put in there. But it definitely looks like I've got plenty of topsoil to fill these up. In fact, I may have a little bit too much topsoil, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning this up, get everything in there and raked out flat, and we'll see how it looks.
So I got all the topsoil picked up and put in the raised beds and I definitely had enough topsoil. In fact, I had too much topsoil. It is piled up in this one. It's kind of heaping up in the middle. And to be honest with you, I did not want to fill these up completely because I wanted to mix in some amendments, some compost, some peat moss, something to help loosen this up because this is very sandy soil. I know it looks very dark and rich, but this is, has got so much sand in it. When it dries, it gets really hard. And I really need stuff in there to loosen the soil up even more because for some reason this stuff just gets, I mean, it gets as hard as a rock. That stuff, I can't even break out with my hand. There we go. But it is just, it just gets so hard. And that's still got moisture in it. When that dries completely, it's very hard. So I need something to help loosen the soil, to help hold moisture in there, because it's so sandy, it loses the moisture so quickly. And uh, yeah, I put too much in there. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. I'll probably have to transfer some of this and maybe transfer it around and start putting it in some of these other raised beds. So in my last garden video, I ended up showing this Clyde's garden planner, and I've been using this for four years now, and I use it as a guideline to know when to start my seeds inside, when to transplant those plants out into the garden, and when I can directly sow seeds in the garden, like corn and squash and cucumbers. And um, it's, it's been a really helpful tool to me, but there's actually a ton of more, more information on here. It's got your plant spacing, it's got your, it's got your row spacing, um, it's got your companion plants, and it even tells you when you can expect to harvest um, vegetables from them as well. So really useful tool, and apparently after the last video, um, you guys ended up going out there searching it, and some people ended up buying it. I didn't even put a link to it in the description or nothing. You guys searched it and, and purchased some of these, and if you bought it off of Clyde's website, I guess some of the people ended up putting down that they, they heard about it on our video. So Clyde ended up he ended up contacting me, the one who designed this. And um, so we're gonna end up giving a few of these away, five of these. I asked him if I could give some away in a video and, and he was happy to do so. He said he'd actually mail them out himself. Um, so we're gonna be giving five of these away. But first, let me just show you how this works real quick. It's really simple. It's, it, it'll show you how to plant for the spring and it also shows you on the other side how to plant in the fall. So when you get your Clyde's garden planner, it comes with instructions, but the important stuff is what's on the backside. So this actually lists your frost dates by city. So it has your, your last frost date and your first frost date, like in the fall. So those dates are very important. So you need to find a city near you um, and find that date. So then you can base everything off of your frost date for the garden planner. So this garden planner works kind of like a slide ruler. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up this red line and we're gonna line that up with wherever your frost date is. So my last frost date is April 20th, so I've got the red line in between the 19th and the 26th. And then if we look at peas, you can directly sow those outside. Your first planting would be around March 15th. And then if we look at cabbage, right here it says SI, that I can start my seeds inside around February 15th, and then I could plant them outside. My first planting would be around March 22nd and then I could expect to harvest the cabbage somewhere around May 17th through June 7th. So on the left side over here, we've got stuff like your row spacing, your plant spacing, your planting depth, and then how much sun you need, how much sunlight the plant likes. So on the right hand side, it also shows what companion plants work well with each vegetable. So for the giveaway of the Clyde's Garden Planner, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put the official rules in the description below. But um, basically, you have to be 18 years of age and you just gotta put a comment down below. So I'm gonna end up picking two people from Facebook comments and I'm gonna pick three people from YouTube comments because there's twice as many people on YouTube. Um, and then I will announce that in an upcoming video. Um, in a video where we're gonna be establishing a new brush pile. If you look behind me, I just got done uh, pruning the orchard and this is all the limbs from doing that. It's becoming a fairly big job. So in that video, I will announce who the winners are and I'll also try to send you guys a message or a reply to your comment uh, to help notify you that if you won. And then I gotta get your address from you and Clyde's gonna mail these to you. So um, 
if you do want to buy one of these as well, if you go to Clyde's website, I'll put a link to his website down below. Um, if you want to go to his website and buy them, they are $6. I mean, free shipping, six bucks. Um, you really can't beat it, really. Um, six bucks for a, for a garden planter. You can use it for several years. This thing ain't gonna wear out. And if you want two of them, you can buy it. It's $10 free shipping. And then you can get one for you and you can get one to your neighbor. So I think we're gonna end up picking the comments on April 19th. And uh, hopefully we'll post the video that day or the next day with the winners. But um, yeah, I, I, I stand behind this, honestly. I'm, I'm not getting anything out of this. He actually sent me a couple of these just to have a couple extra. And, uh, but I'm not getting any money off of this whatsoever. I actually use this and I'm happy to give these away to you guys. I'm happy to talk about it because this is something I do find very useful. Well, I guarantee I'm gonna feel this tomorrow. It's been a long day out here, weeding the garden, working out here. And, but luckily we've got mostly all the raised beds are, are ready to go. Um, this one long one right here, it's, it still needs to be done. But uh, I was trying to get everything ready for potatoes. I've got seven different types of potatoes that we're planting this year. So I needed several raised beds for each one of those. Um, so that's why we had to at least add the two. So now um, we have just enough to get our potatoes planted. So they're already cut up and ready to go. So that'll be something I'll be doing here soon is getting all the potatoes planted in the garden. Our cauliflower and broccoli are finally big enough to transplant out here. And uh, we'll, the garden will really start to have a lot of plants in it here pretty soon. But like I said, it has been a long day. Um, I'm gonna be sore all week probably from it. So that's me showing my age, I think. Um, definitely feeling a little bit more now that I turned 45 this year. But um, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. So I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.